In the previous two lessons in this chapter, we looked at how you might create a path or how you might create a shape. Understand something, the creation using the pen tool is exactly the same. It's not any different. However, if you create a path, your purpose for creating the path would be to maybe turn it into a selection, isolate something out of an image, etc. If you're creating a shape, basically it's a design element for one of your documents. But the creation is actually the same. So let's talk about editing. Editing paths and or shapes, it doesn't make any difference. Let's just go ahead and edit a path. But the technique is the same if you're doing a shape. So I'm going to come over here and pick up my pen tool right here. Now don't forget, your decision on path or shape is determined right there. Let's go ahead and do a path. Now over here, you have an auto add and delete button, and by default that's on. Let me explain what that does. If we come over here into the pen tool and click and hold, you have some extra tools. You got the pen and the freeform, we've played with those. But you have an add. Andy, the shape I'm drawing doesn't have enough pen points after I drew it, so I need to add more. Delete. Andy, I added too many pen points and I need to take some away. Or convert. Now the convert tool does one of two things. It takes a straight path, straight line, and converts it into a curve or smooth path, like circle, and it converts a smooth or circle, smooth path, into a straight line. But the cool thing is, if you've got the pen tool selected and you draw, and after the shape is drawn, you have this option selected up here. You have all of that functionality in the pen tool itself. You don't have to switch tools. So I prefer doing it this way. Let's make the simplest two-dimensional shape you could ever do in the world, and that would be a triangle, three points. Click somewhere, see the asterisk, meaning new shape, or in our case, path. Come down to about here, no asterisk, pen tool is clean, means it's going to connect, straight line, shortest distance between two points. Come over here, click again, and finish the shape up. Wait for the circle and click. So we have our triangular shape. Now the one difference between using this pen tool now to add, subtract, or convert and using the actual tools themselves is that if you do use the pen tool, the shape must be selected or the path in our case must be selected. So I'm going to go down to our selection tool. We've got a direct and a path. Go to path and actually select the shape. I keep saying shape, but it's actually a path. Okay, with it selected, go back to the pen tool. Now, if I come over to the shape, now right now it's saying, do you want to draw a new shape? But if I come over to any place that does not have an anchor point, it changes to the plus tool. And if I click, I can add another point. If I come over here again, say right about there, I can click and add another point. Now, if I want to take a point away, there has to be one for me to remove. If I come up here to this one, it changes to a negative sign, and I take that one away. Now, I know it doesn't look too much different, but in reality, there is no point right there. It's converted these into smooths. It's trying to maintain the look with less anchor points. Now, if I come over here and pick up my direct selection tool and select one of those points and come over here and actually grab it, as you can see, I can begin changing it. So we can edit them once we put them together. Now, if I come back to this one up here and pull it down just a little bit like that, try to equalize it out with this one here. All right, that's not too bad. So we've got that going for us. Another editing technique with the direct selection tool is we can, of course, click on a point to select it. But here's a trick. If I click and drag a box, it will only select those two points. If I then use my arrow keys, I can maneuver both of them at the same time. Now, what about that convert tool? Well, how do you get to that? Well, let's go back to the selection tool, path selection, and select our object. Let's go back to our pen tool. If I come up to that point, that's a curved point, and what I want to do is I want to convert it to a straight. Reach over on your keyboard and hold on the Alt key, and that's the Alt key in Windows and the Option key on a Mac, same key, different name, and you come over there and it converts it into that tool. One click on a smooth point converts it into a straight. I can do the same thing over here to this one, and basically I have something like a trapezoid. Now if I want to convert one into a curve, I do the same thing. I hold down the Alt key or the Option key on a Mac, and I go to this one, I get that upside down V, 
and I can drag and convert the straight point into a smooth point. All the control that you need is in the pen tool if you have this option up here selected. If you turn it off, and that's up to you, then you can use the actual tools right here, or actually you can use them with that turned on or off. But once you design the shape, you are not, in a sense, as they say, locked in stone. You can manipulate it, maneuver it, add, subtract, do anything you want to until you get it exactly the way you want it to be. Let me go ahead and pick up my selection tool, my path selection, actually. Let me select that, and let me go ahead and delete it. Let me show you one more thing about the pen tool. Let me go ahead and go back into it. You have one more option under this gear right here. Go ahead and select that gear. You have something called rubber band. I do like this feature. If you select it, watch what happens when I draw. If I come over here and click, now watch what happens when I move. It actually shows me what I'm about to do. So if I come over here and decide I want to curve that, I click and hold and drag. It's showing me exactly the curvature that I'm going to get if I let go. So you've got a lot more control here. And if I let go again, click and drag, I can create just about any shape that I want to, and I can watch it as it's drawing it. Now, sometimes that gets in the way. Most of the time, though, I do like that feature, and it's right here under that gear. If you turn it off, you won't see the line as you're drawing it. You'll only see the anchor points. Control is what we need, whether you're drawing a shape or a path, and Photoshop gives us all the control we need to get exactly what we want.